here we go big nine nine thousand the highest model hard time model from merida just after the race i was uh, just letting you know about on my media i did well i am very happy i'm very happy i was 11th in my age category and 40th out of everyone it's a huge uh, race we were m maybe 300 or so something like that uh, i did better and better with each uh, race and i'm getting closer to the uh, to the winner last year it was 20 minutes between me and the winner then it was 15 13 and today it was 10 minutes slowly but up okay so this this was about me i'm happy about my fitness going slowly up and now about the bike the bike as you can see here with everything with the xtr pedals bottle cages and the dropper poles from uh, from uh, Didi Swiss, the, all the things otherwise are stock is 8.8 kilograms in its price point it cost eight thousand uh, dollars in Poland it's one of the best bikes um, in the world uh, I saw a comment on my YouTube uh, community um, post that the head tube angle should be slacker of course the newer and newer features on the cross-country bikes mean slacker and slacker and slacker and more like uh, trail bike uh, head, head angles but i'm telling you it's no problem there were some technical descents today and i felt amazing really amazing reynolds wheels are wide and very light the free wheel is super loud it is like it is it is crazy 1051 29er inch wheels, 34 uh, teeth um, chainring here, and I felt amazing on all the climbs. There was uh, about 900 meters of climbing. I felt amazing. I felt so so good today. Um, otherwise, about the bike, the frame is stiff. We still have some flex parts uh, on it. The Sid Ultimate is amazing. It's very light. It's so plush. It's easy to set up. I love it and these are my absolute favorite uh, shifters XT and XT, XTR they are very strong you can go two down the cassette with one push you can also go just one you can also pull so this is this is great it felt really stiff on the on the climbs when I locked my fork it was just completely locked out so light at the end of the race I felt back pain and that's because my saddle slid backwards why is it so I do use a um, torque wrench it goes right here with the extension but I'm not able to uh, fix this bolt with it so I just used I just did it by hand and it seems like I didn't uh, put enough torque on it and so it slid back giving me hard times with my back on the last seven kilometers or so like four miles uh, with a lot of climbing love the bike love the racing and I'm racing every other week right now so I'm not just doing videos about servicing bikes I'm racing them too thanks for being with me and see ya